Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 16th of May. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. I'm going to give you the broad strands to look out for. Please stay with me. I will then dive deep to give you in forensic detail each of the 12 zodiac signs forecast from Aries through to Pisces. Now this week is going to reveal the people that we can relate to, the people that we can trust, the people that share our values, but also quite starkly those that don't. In fact, it's not just going to be this week. I think it's going to be over the next six months, even as long as a year. I think we're all being asked to think much more about what the basis of our existence is really built upon. The sign of uh, Taurus is very much about foundations. And it's also about our core values and, of course, everyday money. Now, the lunar eclipse, which occurs on Monday, sees uh, the sign of Scorpio, the Scorpio lunar eclipse, perhaps letting some revelations come into the open over this next six months. And also because Saturn, the planet that's in the sign of humanity, of Aquarius, is T-square in both the position of the sun and also the moon, I think we are seeing a big readjustment in terms of costs, uh, our attitude to consumption, our attitude to the environment, but also those shared values or lack of them with the people that we're associating with, and especially our friends, because the sign of Aquarius very much about friendship. But also, despite the fact that the Sun is in a rather sharp and testing right angle with Saturn this week, which is seeing us think of ways that we can be a bit thriftier, a bit more creative about how we use the money we have, there's also a very potent link between Mars and Neptune in the sign of Pisces. And that's pointing towards the potential to use our drive in a more imaginative, creative and even spiritual way, especially how we view what we have. You know, that old maxim of viewing our glass as half full rather than half empty would be one that we can all really think carefully about this week. Also, the sun is in a terrific angle with Pluto, so transformation is still possible even though there is this big reset going on. And then in terms of more personal relating, Mercury may be in retrograde and Venus may be technically in detriment in Aries, but they're both in a very flirty angle. So some unexpected messages, uh, proposals, invites. Um, there could even be someone being a bit saucy, which you know can actually be quite a lot of fun. So... Uh, there can be some levitation amongst these more serious influences. And then on Saturday, well, the sun moves into the speedy, very nimble sign of Gemini, which is an air sign. So this is very much about things becoming more fluid and we're flexing our intellects and we're chatting away with one another. So Mercury's retrograde is asking us to choose our words carefully, but I think it does have a very lovely link with Venus which is delightful through these more uh, big structural changes that are going on for us all. Now, if you would like to ascend above this Zodiac broadcast and understand your own personal astrology, if you give me three pieces of your birth data of time, date and place of birth, I can give you a roadmap that you can use for the rest of your life. This will explore your qualities, but also help you to understand some of the more tricky patterns that may have repeated themselves in your life. Also, in my special package, you can also get a 12-month personal forecast. No two charts are the same. There's 30% off. Please see the link beneath this video. Now, also, if you would like to watch my uh, Scorpio Lunar Eclipse special video, the link is beneath this video. And if you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be very grateful if you did. I'm nearly there at the 100,000. Please click or tap uh, the bell notification symbol. And thank you so much for all those people who have subscribed already. Please stay with me now for your in-depth forecast. 
So Taurus, your weekly horoscope for week commencing the 16th sees your ruler in your 12th house of reflection when it comes to relationships. But it's in a, a very positive angle with Mercury, the planet of communication, which for you is in the second house. Now, despite Mercury's retrograde, this could mean that someone can surprise you with a, a generous gift uh, completely out of the blue and not necessarily something that you've been expecting at all. But also, uh, because Mars is combining with Neptune, the friends that really share your values are the ones that are really going to be uh, inspirational at this time. It's just that, in a bit more of a practical way, someone, and it could be in your work situation, could be a little bit critical, maybe scrutinising what you're doing rather too much. Maybe they feel that you're being too single-minded in what you want to achieve. So I think in a personal context, this could be a pleasing week in some ways. In any kind of situation where you feel someone is trying to dominate you, then I feel that that could be quite uncomfortable. However, because you've been working so hard of late, once the sun moves on Saturday into the sign of Gemini, you can start to see the shoots of all that hard work, the investment of that time, energy and creativity start to pay off in the following four weeks. So just because someone challenges what you're doing and doesn't necessarily get it or agree with it, doesn't mean to say that what you're doing is not right for you but it may be that in some way you're not complying to their expectation. And that could be therefore something you need to get through. But despite Mercury's retrograde, and despite that Venus is in a very reflective area, and for some Taurus people, this could see you thinking very much about a past relationship, or for some other Taurus people, even thinking of leaving a type which isn't working, I think there's still potential to try and keep the lines of communication open. So whatever your situation, whether it's developing positively or there are some challenges, try to be as patient as possible around the communications. And by the end of this week, I think hopefully you will see the beginning of a real sense of substance about what you've been working on recently. Mm -hmm.